I'm Brent Booker. I'm your new president of the Labor's International Union in North America. The laborers has been a core value for my family since the 1940s. My grandfather, Carl W. Booker, started the local union in southern Indiana. He saw a need in the community and saw that there were people out working that needed a stronger voice. The original charter for Labor's Local 795 has my grandfather's name on it. My father started in the laborers and actually became the general secretary treasurer of Layuna. He was trying to make the lives better of the laborers that he represented. So being a third generation laborer is very important to me. My first job at Layuna, I was assigned to the construction department. I want to thank you and the members of the committee for holding this hearing. Started working on national agreements. I went from international representative of the construction department to the director of construction. June of 2012, I was elected as secretary treasurer of North America's Building Trades Union. You know, I was able to negotiate hundreds of billions of dollars worth of project labor agreements. Those project labor agreements created opportunities for Layuna members every step of the way. In that role, not only did I still, you know, maintain my responsibilities when it came to building relationships with national contractors, I found myself on Capitol Hill. I found myself at the White House. Gave Congress a message, we need to rebuild our nation's infrastructure. I was honored and privileged to represent 14 international unions, over three and a half million workers in the United States and Canada. So I was able to see the strength that each union brought to the table. Throughout these last 10 years, you know, when we needed advice and counsel, I would pick up the phone or walk across the street back to Layuna. And every time, Layuna was leading the industry, leading the labor movement. Layuna was the, the gold standard. After 10 years being at the building trades, you know, it's time for me to come home, come back to Layuna. To be the general president of laborers is literally the honor of a lifetime. The Laborers International Union of North America is, is the best union in all of North America. 500,000 men and women call themselves laborers. We're fortunate to represent construction workers, public employees, mail handlers, and citizens of both the United States and Canada. Each and every one of them, extremely hardworking, dedicated, and are, are devoted to a, a greater calling and to be the leader of those 500,000 people is an awesome responsibility. It's a responsibility that I will meet. You know, I want rank and file members to know I have their backs. I'm gonna be the first one in the office, I'm gonna be the last one to leave in the night. I believe that leaders should be the ones that are eating last. I'm gonna outwork our competition, I'm gonna outthink our competition, and we're gonna do that together as an organization to make sure that they're better at the end of each and every day. I think the key to a successful organization is two-way communications. And for me, I gotta do that face-to-face. -face. I'm gonna be at district council meetings. I'm gonna be at local union meetings. I'm gonna be at job sites. I wanna meet the members where they're at. I wanna hear from them. We've got a responsibility to ensure that our existing membership and our existing workforce goes to work every day. Our greater responsibility is to bring more people into it. Our vision going forward is to ensure that anybody who wants to belong has a home with Layuna. The power of Layuna isn't just, you know, going out on the job site day in and day out. That's, that's important, but the power of Layuna is also being part of a big family. When you're a member of Layuna, you're never alone. Today we have 500,000 members. At the end of my presidency, we should have a million members. 